Hi, I'm Anton uh, Bosman. I'm a cityscape photographer. I do natural landscapes as well. Here we have the new camera from Fujifilm. Immediately noticeable, a much bigger grip, much more sturdy, giving the camera a much more solid feel. You'll notice a little screen at the top over here, very much like your professional DSLRs and prosumer bodies that you get, giving you all your settings. Obviously can be lit up as well. You've got the back screen is now a touch screen as well, something so many people asked for. And uh, again, rendition of that screen it looks like a, a mini HD screen. It's just amazing. You'll notice that the eye cup actually sits a little bit more proud from the body. It sits more away from the screen. Blown away by the JPEGs that came from the camera straight. And uh, just to be honest, uh, I have never seen images as clean as what I've seen from this uh, sensor that put into the body. The, the images are very clean. They are crisp and they are incredibly sharp. These must be some of the sharpest JPEGs I have ever seen from any camera brand, any body that I've ever used. So in short, this, this camera performs absolutely flawless. It's a beautiful body. I think it's going to appeal to many people. My passion is definitely Johannesburg. I like to shoot in Johannesburg. If you come into Johannesburg, you, you, you see such a beautiful place that has got many, many years of architecture behind it, many years of history behind it, um, and an incredible vibe. I mean, we're standing on a rooftop here tonight that we've gone into the sunset, and uh, we've got some thunderstorms and rain happening all around us. So, it's amazing what we're experiencing here tonight. We're seeing incredible uh, uh, lightning bolts. We're seeing fantastic uh, clouds rolling over, bringing in some rain. And then also we had the beautiful golden glow of the sun. And that's Johannesburg for you um, from one of the rooftops. Amazing. You can hear the vibe of the city down at the bottom. Um, vehicles uh, commuting, uh, taxis. It's, it's one of the prominent uh, uh, commuter vehicles in our town uh, that takes people from point A to B. But the reason I love to photograph Johannesburg is because I want to show the people out there what a beautiful city it can actually be. And, um, you know, we don't need to look at the danger, but we need to look at the beauty within the city. And I often find myself from ground level right up to roof level, trying to capture dreamy scapes of the city, um, capturing the architecture over the years. And you'll often find buildings from the eight, late 1800s with buildings up to sort of the 1920s. So you've got this very early architecture going right into the Art Deco era. And these are standing on the same streets of Johannesburg. It's just amazing to see this. And uh, I must be honest, you know, for me, it's not a case of just pointing and clicking and taking a shot. It's a case of really composing the image, trying to capture that essence that I feel when I stand in the streets, that excitement that draws me to Johannesburg is what I want to bring to the viewer. So when I compose these, these cityscapes, whether it being from high up or quite low down, I also go afterwards and I, I do my post-processing to bring that essence of reality across. Some would say it's, it's surrealism. Yes, that it may well be, but for me it's a case of actually bringing to the viewer what I feel when I stand in Johannesburg, when all my senses are working, I've got my smell is working, my, my eye, obviously we all know the eye has got an incredible dynamic range, it sees every single thing, all the highlights, all the shadows, and that is what I try and bring to the viewer. So, over the years I've, I've made it very much a case of work out what you're going to expose for, take time to get the composition ready, to try and bring a three-dimensional image to the viewer, and then work on the post-processing afterwards as if they almost feel like they're standing in the very same spot that you stood when you made that photograph.